there, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Cutter mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Now, I do apologize at the beginning of this video that this video is quite a bit shorter than most of my normal videos just because at the time of this recording, I don't have a lot of time, but I did do one of these focuses, but I can't remember which one I did. Um, it wasn't a super important one. It was one of these middle ones. I honestly can't remember. That was it wasn't the last of Patton's namesake. I know that for certain. It might have been stream bring strategic nuclear capability to the fleet. I honestly cannot remember any supersonic strategic bombers. But, oh well, it is what it is. So right now, let's go ahead and do either uh, the big stick. We like big sticks. Or we'll do the IRBM focuses, which not bad either, but... Mm, I think we're already making cruise missiles. I kind of like the international thing. So let's do IRBM focus, because, well, we can. But I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Now, I didn't get through all the comments from the last video, which I kind of regret, but... Uh, it is what it is. I don't know if I've said before, but some people want me to do like War with the USSR by the end of the campaign, or and maybe, or at least have a stalemate with them, which I think would be kind of cool if we did. We'll see. We'll see if we actually do go to war with them. So, uh, get some more attack and defense. I think I prefer that one. Usually, oh, hello. Federation Rhodesia. We've had this before. Rhodesia, please. American Air Doctrine. Not a bad idea, guys. But, so, if they can't pay us, bye. Ooh. The 23rd of August. We will rescind our licenses. Because if they cannot pay us, then we don't want them to run. Operation Heaven, look at that. Very cool. Interesting, interesting. But, my friends, it is now August 27th, so... Uganda. Uganda. You deserve what you get. Oh, I don't want to do you guys badly, but... You know what? We still have a lot of influence. Maybe we'll give you some time. Um, yeah, the French Republic of the Congo? No. I have a special heart for the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, so... We'll see what happens. Godfrey Huggins? We'll see what happens. Research finished. Very good. It's a little bit ahead of time. High level supercomputers, fine with us. Nuclear propul nuclear pulse propulsion, okay with us as well. Other comments included, become a super hyperpower, or global hyperpower, and get lots of big puppets. Well, we'll do the best we can. Last time we got Mexico, I believe, so we gotta decide. Who do we want next? Maybe more of Central America, maybe Brazil. Everyone loves Brazil, right? Everyone totally loves Brazil. Where are the other focuses? Oh, it's probably the ones that go to war with Vietnam, right? So this point, I'm just going to, so I don't want to go to war with Vietnam. I really kind of don't want to. Operation Vulture would be fun. Get off my ridge, you commie pieces of garbage. But, since we're here anyways, 1960s stuff, more weapon types, I think that'd be appropriate for us. So, and, but We have so much influence with these guys already, even though they are already a satellite state of those guys. So if we get into war with these guys, like the Republic of Vietnam, I, I, I don't see the point of going to war with them. The Democratic Republic. Why do we go to war with the Democratic Republic? Oh, it's up here. I mean, we could do that. I don't want to do that yet, just because, like, quite literally, um, that would cause a lot of conflict. So I might not have us do a focus yet. Back DM, back French interests. I propose it to Hanoi. And there was another comment saying that I should look up the stuff, as, like, what happened actually historically. I, I'll be honest, at the time I was going, I do not have time for that. Offer re reunification for non alignment? Um, how about the DM? I could be wrong about that, but we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm probably wrong about that. I'm probably completely wrong. I apologize, guys. Ugh. Ooh. But, let's see. Man in space. That'd be cool. Oh, do we have debt? Current debt, 90 billion. Well, that's really not good. No, we have no debt. Yay! Um, oper I'm not doing Operation Vulture. I don't see a point. I want to wait till later, like in the 60s, when Kennedy really ramps things up. So, for now, it's not necessarily a bad thing that we can't do any more focuses, because they're literally all locked, except for Operation Vulture. So let's get some more political power. We'll hit the elections and see what happens. So, yes. Very good. Because there's a lot of empty space here. Holy crap. Uh, but getting this extra political power will give us more time to get more puppets. So, Operation Ajax, huh? Always false. A successful coup. Ah, that's regarding Iran, so. Exposed. It's this much in government. Got some more comments. Someone says, defeat communism. See, someone says I should play as Japan or India next. Make all African countries democratic. Radical nationals USA when? Well, that's a very good question. I'm not exactly sure. But without doing any political stuff, like any focuses. You're going to get 2.62 political power every single day. Ratification of the interim Iraqi constitution. Well, all right. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. It's just interesting. It doesn't seem it really applies to us too much currently. But it could in the future. You never know. You never, 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 never know. No enemy staffers being decrypted with Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Israel, and Libya. I think that would be a good amount. Cool. Float glass. Uh, 10 security measures. Is this still just you guys? Guys, please. 
I do want to influence them a little bit more. I would love Canada under us, but that's pretty equal there. 41%. If we could get Brazil as a puppet, would that not just be awesome? Because you guys are with us. Like, you guys love us. We're a bunch of socialists down there, but... You know, 60% of you believe in... Hmm. Alright, whatever. Almost 1962, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Moderate welfare spending. I kind of want to get more welfare spending to get more political power. But can we afford the cost of 240% instead of 100%? Because that's 22.5% more. And more independent and long construction would be really nice because we're building even more of these guys. We're making quite a bit more money, which is nice. But someone says we should support the Indonesian separatists. Another comment said that we should elect Nixon in 1960, which I would like to do, but... That's for the president, we'd like to keep them at least a little historical here, but... Our surveys found numerous bauxite deposits around the southern side of the state in the county of Kern. We should set up mining sites to tap into them. Nice. Uh, purchase stuff from consumer markets. Military equipment's not too strong, or we don't really need that. Maybe a little bit, but at the same time, whatever. Someone says we should try an alternative communist United States run sometimes. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. We should totally do that. And someone also said... Um, much like in Old World Blues, to do, like, the chemical warfare stuff, we might have to click on the demographics, maybe? Maybe in here? Well, we can, like, nuke and just bomb and just burn people? So, we'll see. I mean, there's no guarantee, but we'll see. But it's almost 1960, thank goodness. So hopefully we can get into the next election. Because I really wanted to get the next election going very soon. 65 billion is not bad, just, I want more. How is our energy, actually? Our electricity is doing okay. Yeah, it's disappointing that we can't do a lot more of these focuses. I kind of wish it was more. Bring the issue to the UN, Hungarian Revolution. There's not really much we can do about that. So, I do apologize for not being able to do everything here, but... If all the Viet Minh, I just don't want to go to war with them yet. I really don't. We have to... I want to, for us to wait, so... I apologize for that, but... And when does the thing happen here? Farouk agreed to reforms. I guess it's not. Support the free officers. A failed revolution. Egyptian revolution, huh? I'd love to invade Egypt someday. Oh, we, yeah, we go a little good to war with them. Egyptian Revolution, nothing happens. Supports the new regime. Just give them a bunch of guns, man. But nuke-wise, I thought the UK had nukes. United Nations, it's all right. Anything else here yet? No? Draft, I'm checking this. Ooh, the end of the Spanish Spanish Moroccan protectorate. Um, Immigre Nagi executed. Oh, boy, wow. That is unfortunate for you, man. At this point, we're just going to let time go on for now, just because... Uh, I want to keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Basic computer auxiliaries. A little more research speed would be very nice as well. Nassalan. I'm sorry, man. But we so much. Oh. The influence. 38% is not bad. Zimbabwe. Not Rhodesia. White minority rule. That sucks. American advisors. I like that. Yeah, into American intel sharing. Strength in labor unions. And repressive government. Ooh. That sounds like fun. And then resource consumption, of course. Just like us. But with over here, oh, they, don't, they really don't like the UK, do they? Oh, Hugh Geitskel? Is that Geitskel, maybe? Geitskel? I don't remember. Bipartis partial bipartisan system. Social exclusions of the poor minorities. That one's like fun. Um, efficient National Healthcare Service. Takes a lot of consumer goods. ECSC partner. The BBC. Uh, the British Productiv Productivity Council. We've got a Queen, Elizabeth II. Poorly funded National Healthcare Service. Decreased by 10% all your healthcare expenditures. Increased centurion production, not bad. Partially privatized public companies, which hurts your consumer goods even more. Holy crap. And I wish these had more focuses here, but... Very high inflation. God, the UK sucks right now. So status and of the end of the balance of payments. Huh. Increased tax revenue. Increased productivity. I like this one. MI5, SIS, United Kingdom's Intel Services. Resource consumption and increased productivity. So it's not bad overall. Like, there's some good things about it. Some things I don't like about it, but... You know what? Everyone loves Brazil, right? Everyone loves Brazil. So, let's influence them first, because they're at 41%, so. Uh, influence, nation, nation, nation. How do we get more influence points? Factories, mostly from factories. Subjects are not bad. From GDP, it also affects us, too. We're losing so much political power, but we're getting, going up by, like, two a day. That's nice. From space race, space race. Oh, we should do the base, space race, too, right? For sure, our national service is not bad. Which, of course, is improved skills training, nice. Honestly, it's kind of... I think it's still okay if you just go ahead a little bit of time with uh, researching stuff. Because you don't get penal penalized too badly if you don't have stuff there. But it's alright. So, is there any other place here in America where we can increase our economic investments? Oh, look at this. Develop 
industrial estates. Current budget, zero. I would like to invest in America. Please let me invest. We can take a bonds, loans. But I don't think we're going to do that. So, modernization tech not requirement. Not met. Cool. Man in space. Um, factories. So, what do we need for this one? We actually need a lot. Common bulkheads. We just need more research speed. And again, the mod moves so slow. Like, that's probably one of my greatest complaints with the mod. Which, I'm sure, I know the dads already know. Like, everyone knows. If you know the mod, it, it runs really slowly. And right now, I literally have, like, one other tab open when I'm, like, recording this. I just wish it was a slightly more efficient, you know? Um... I'm sure they're already probably looking into that, but... With, with mods like Equestria War, they run so smooth. And this one, it's not bad. I like the mod. I really like this mod, but just... I wish it was... I don't know. A little more... Fast. You know, faster. So, but that's just, maybe that's just the ramblings of Mr. Mokolova. We need so many more anti-tank grenade missiles. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more. we got plenty of infantry equipment. Look at that. That's a nice gun I got. Cool. Intelligence services, we're still doing that stuff. When's the next one done? 10 days, we've got the FJ2 American Fury, which is nice. Computers would probably be good to do as well. Um, office park income, that ain't too shabby. Industry, though, oh, we still gotta do some industry stuff first. Uh, factory output would not be bad either. What is this? Uh, income. Cool. Uh, that sounds okay. We'll probably do this one first. New welding methods, probably better for us to do. And do we have any outdated research? Cool. Oh, now we have a lot of self-propelled artillery. Look at that. Um, actually, can we throw that on our infantry division, which I'm going to edit probably after this episode, hopefully, if I remember, just so we can get some more, like, just make it look, like, have our divisions look a little better. Do we have it on there? Heavy artillery, light arty, anti-tank cannons, signal support, engineer, recons, artillery. No, we don't have it on there, huh? Or unless it's over here. Mountaineers, heavy artillery. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Interesting. Cool. Well, whatever. We do the best we can with this stuff. But it's now April 4th, my friends. I do apologize for this video being shorter than normal just because, like I said, I don't have a lot of time. Other times recording, so. Tart. Tuft. Hartley Act. Where is this? Uh, Federation DCI Nyasalan. Tax breaks. I gotta play these guys sometime. This seems like fun. When's a change speech? That's a lot of manpower. That's pretty good, actually. Two six divisions, though. That's not great, but whatever. Tax breaks, yes, please. Just keep building. Just keep building, building, building. You're now minus 17, which is even worse than earlier. Okay. Um, another power plant, maybe? 90% is pretty good to build in, right? Michigan. Been up there a few times already. Uh, 1.43 trillion is not bad. Growth rate is 4%. It's not bad. Office parks are leading the way with 0.661. With civvies right behind them, so... Um, I do apologize that we're not doing a focus, but like I said... It is what it is. Just keep building, keep building, keep building. 2.26 is not enough. Economic growth? Oh, God, no. Please don't hurt a growth. We want as much growth as possible. The economy. Civilian espionage? Keep going. We're doing well with that stuff. Actually, with someone like you, can we, like, increase our influence here? Like, that'd be really cool if we could. I don't want to get, like, found out or anything, because that... That's very annoying to stop the game just to figure out, like, oh, we got found out, but still. Um, that's the only place for... Huh, that kind of sucks, to be honest. That kind of sucks. All right, so Brazil. We enjoy you. We like you. But you don't have enough influence from us. Just yet. You have a million manpower. That's really nice. Keep a check. Yeah, and you're mostly centrists. All right. 65% is better than what I thought. Socialist interest groups, huh? You guys have socialists up here? Yeah. We're 98%, but we need at least, what, 90%? Uh, economic aid, establish a dependent state. 90% influence or higher, which is not bad. That's actually very manageable, so. Oh, yeah, do we have one of these now? U U.S., or not U.S., US Soviet Union condemns Lysenkoism. If you wonder about this, please go ahead. Lysenko seems like a fun guy. Seems like a guy who has a lot of good ideas, but I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me, you know. All right, Imperial State, and then... who Jordan. Jordan. Israel still kind of thick. What's Italy up to? Italian Republic. Uh, Italian... Uh, Amintor Fanfani. I've heard of you before. Adenauer. East German refugees. Not bad. Led by... Was it Ulbricht? Yeah. This 
People's Republic of Mongolia is trying to influence them? Or China. China's influencing them, huh? Republic Flush. Thousands of our workforce flee to West Germany every month. We need to stop this. Secular influence. Urban planning. Stasi. Oh, we love the Stasi, don't we? Industrial subsidies. Not bad. Not bad. Keep going. Keep going. The Volksmarine, huh? German Navy. East German Navy. Well, good luck with that. You're going to need it. And just keep building. Keep building. For the love of God, keep building. Oh, our GDP growth went, rate went down. God dang it. It was, be it was better earlier, but whatever. And for economy, like, most of it's going to the military, but, like, the other parts are still going up, so. It's not bad. Not too shabby. Come on, just, I just want, like, I'll be honest. I just want to get to the next election. Like, seriously. Soldiers Muni through the Congo. Nice guns, dude. You look kind of happy. So This is what happens when you make someone serve hand and foot. Oh, boy. Home of the free. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, is there any wars going on? I want to send guys over to places. Current wars. The Chinese. Oh. Oh, we did send them to those guys as well as this one, too. East Indonesian, Indonesian war. Uh, I don't like that we can't do anything about this. So, there's literally nothing we can do about it. So, I, I think that's really dumb. Mobutu appointed chief of staff of the Congolese military. Nice hat, dude. An interesting development. Because we did send them volunteers, yeah. But then we want to go over here. Like, these guys didn't fully revolt yet, so. Our guys are just kind of stuck right now. Unless we go to war with. Eh, unless we go to war with these guys. Which might not be a bad idea, but. Hmm. Happy July, everybody. So soon we're going to have a change in research as well. Oh, is that. Oh, Republic of China. Imagine you, you come down here. And then you got to figure out how to invade these guys, too. Ooh, I would like to get them under us as well. Of course, we do have South Korea, too. Actually, we should be influencing them first. What have I been thinking? South Korea, liberal democracy, is the exact person that we, or group that we need. One-party state? We love one-party states. Total loyalty sounds really good. Gulag politic, cultural superiority propaganda, nice. Congo appeals for UN intervention? Nah. So if that's the case, there's nothing here. Okay, Richard Nixon. Cool. We get hum Hubert Humphrey II. All right. Never heard of him, but I'll take your air, your air, your word for it. Interesting. All right, really, Korea, you you got to be up first. Sorry, uh, other guys, but Congo demands Belgian withdrawal. The Belgians did nothing wrong there. What do you mean? What do you mean? Come on, we just want to get up to ninety percent. Man, we we're so close. All right, not paid licenses. Sorry, Nyasaland, but. We're not getting enough from you, son. We're just not. Straight up not. So, I want to see what the elections are like. And once again, I do apologize for this being so short. It's just... Time. It's just, like I said before in the past. We don't have a lot of time. Gaspar Lopez de Santa Ana. Games of the something Olympia. Someone said that this guy is... Not necessarily... Mexican or something? De Santa Ana sounds pretty Mexican to me, but... And they're still a puppet, so... That's the most important part. Cool. Let's go back over to Korea and start influencing them some more. Because then we're going to need 500. Uh, Army XP. No, actually, um, they got a lot of socialist influence here. But a lot more political power so we can influence them. So uh, That looks really sad for Czechoslovak Republic. They should have Zaka Parapatia. But whatever. Uh, maybe I'm just rambling. Uh, over here? Why not? Color TVs? Well, I do like seeing things... And color, Congo issues final ultimatum or UN forces. Please go ahead if you want to hear about that. Interesting development. Mega scale supercomputer. Sounds important. Ah, I love the food prices. Give us all that pee pee. Two and a half a day, 2.6 a day is nice. Construction wise, we're still building. Even more office parks. 1.33 is not enough. Our GDP growth rate is negative. Holy crap, that sucks. Still got plenty of money though for now, so. Tech not requirement. Oh, that sucks. Is there a map mode where we could see, like, what areas we can upgrade? Patrice Lumumba deposed. Interesting development. Nice. South Kasai capitulated at uncertain times. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Well, they're all developed here in America, so. I'm pretty good about that. Oh, maybe except for... Oh, you guys are good. You're developed, too. Yep. Agri-biome year-round. 
Medway Atoll or Atoll. Can I actually help, like, invest money into other people? Soldier Community, nice picture again. Okay, do we want to get involved here? Like, what the heck is going on here? I don't think I want to get involved. I'll be honest. I don't think I want to get involved at all. Just because of the crap that's happening here. New welding methods is very nice. But, you know what? We can get involved too. Why can't I do this one? It says we can. Even though I already know the answer that we can't, but still. Six divisions, huh? That's four. Cool. Seven more, six more. Do they have an air base? We could probably send some planes. If not, oh god, I might have just sent, like, this might have just be a giant attrition drain on us. Oh, that would suck. That would really suck. I'm gonna push to at least get to. We gotta get to the elections. I've got to get to the elections. I apologize about this. Cool, come on, come on, come on, come on. God, the mod, it just moves so slow. I, I know some of you guys wanna, like, play this in your own time, but, like, is it slow for you? Please let me know in the comments below. How slow is this mod for you? Because it, it's. It chugs. It definitely chugs. Oh, come on, don't lag that hard, please. Let's keep going, keep going. Nice. And we're up. We're at 90. We have more influence. Purge the military sounds like fun. Sounds kind of dangerous, but then again, we'd McCarthy, so. Alright, boys, you ready to starve? Ready to help hold the line? Ready to succeed? Well, maybe. You'll see. Other two McCullough may exiled. Cool. And Westmoreland, you sound familiar. I wonder if you're from somewhere else. Now, I know a lot of people want me to choose Nixon. They, you, A lot of you really want to choose Nixon, but I think I've got to choose JFK just because... Play silence, huh? Um, more historical. Hail to the chief, the Kennedy administration. Young, charismatic JFK has been chosen for president of the U.S. in the 60s election. A Democrat, Kennedy is the first Roman Catholic to win the general elections. Followed up with the betrayal of organized crime. Although many expected him to leave the mafia alone, JFK is going against experts' predictions and is going after crime gangs with a new round of investigations plan. But, like I said earlier, I do apologize for the short video. I need to do and address other things, but if you enjoyed it, nonetheless, and we've gotten to 1960, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow, as we will have, hopefully, quite a bit of a longer video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.